Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best upcoming 2024 motorcycles worth waiting for first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cooled boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a 6-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. This change in packaging allowed BMW to create a more compact unit, as well as focus on lowering the center of gravity and further centralizing mass. In total, BMW says it reduced engine weight by 8.6 pounds and powertrain weight in general by 14.3 pounds as compared to the previous GS. The chassis. BMW also completely redesigned the frame when composing the R1300 GS, opting for what it calls a sheet metal shell main frame and die cast aluminum rear section. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda NT1100 new color update and review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The NT1100, whose combination of performance, comfort, functionality, elegant styling and excellent value for money made it the best-selling touring bike in Europe in 2023. Receives two striking new color updates for the 2024 model year. To add to its comprehensive appeal, matte blue jeans metallic and candy chromosphere red join the ever-popular matte iridium gray metallic in the NT1100 lineup. With all three colors featuring a new matte ballistic black metallic rear rack. Since its introduction to the European range in 2022, more than 12,000 NT1100s have been sold. With more than 66% of customers choosing the option of Honda's exclusive dual-clutch transmission. To ensure that the NT1100 rider can have their bike exactly the way they want it, three dedicated accessories are available that improve comfort and functionality over long distances. Available individually or in three dedicated packs urban, Turing and Voyage the accessories include a 50L top box, fog lights and a comfortable seat. The 2024 Honda NT1100 has been launched, with two new colors and an update to one of the existing paint jobs. Since its launch in 2022, the Honda NT1100 has been sold in over 12,000 units across Europe 
and the 2024 model year will see the third iteration of what, in 2023, was the best-selling touring motorcycle in Europe. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the 6-speed gearbox. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best option upcoming 2024 adventure motorcycles worth to wait first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 RPM.
but the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Kawasaki vs Adventure, vs 1000 and vs X250 first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. 3 variants of vs 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and 2 new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class vs 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, 3-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. Honda has decided to drop the veil on its latest CBF Concept motorcycle. The CBF Concept was supposed to make its debut at the Osaka Motorcycle Show and Tokyo Motor Show in this month, but due to COVID-19 outbreak. Honda has been forced to reveal the Concept motorcycle on an online platform. The CBF Concept is a throwback special that pays homage to the Honda CB900F naked motorcycle from the early 1980s. As a result, the design is retro the bike features a classic round headlamp, a flattish fuel tank, and a simple tail section. The matte silver paint scheme with blue and gray stripes look rather cool. The megaphone designed exhaust is another retro touch. While the design of the bike is a few decades old, everything else is modern the CBF concept features the same modern mechanicals as the company's leader class Neo Sports Cafe bike, the CB1000R. The chassis looks similar, and the concept features the same upside-down front forks and a single-sided swing arm along with a monoshock at the rear wheel. Powering the CBF concept is the same 998cc inline four-cylinder engine as the CB1000R. In the CB1000R, the engine develops 143 brake horsepower and 104 newton meters of torque, and it's paired to a six-speed transmission. At the moment, Honda hasn't confirmed if they plan to put the CBF concept into production.
The much-discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing, but we'll remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. And speaking of glass and rustling, on the prototype photograph, there is also an additional deflector on the upper part of the windshield, certainly useful for some tests. It's shaping up to be a pretty interesting year for Big Bore Adventure Bike News. As we head into the weeks before the Euro manufacturers typically release their new machines, Ben Purvis over at Bike Social says he's found evidence that KTM is working on a 1390 V twin, presumably to be launched soon. The information comes from poking around KTM's parts ordering system and finding references to a new 1390 engine. Wait, does that mean we? The Piaggio-owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto, Guzzi dealerships. As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same Guzzi special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. Instead, the tank now has beefy indents, possibly to help lock the knees when standing up. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels, and handguards, all missing on the existing ADV. Rounding off the design is a set of new color options. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you 2024 Suzuki GSX-S 1000T spy shots, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching.
The new Suzuki GSX-S1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX-S1000T. It would sit between the GSX-S1000 and the GSX-S1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV Tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the T flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top fairing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Brabus 1300 our first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. When German super cartooner Brabus partnered up with KTM to release its first ever motorcycle model, the 1300R, last February, we predicted it would be a sales success. And because the 1300R was heavily based on the already bonkers KTM 1290 Super Duke R Evo, the Germans saw no need to mess with the mechanicals. Opting instead to give the luxury hyper naked its own brand specific visual identity. Turns out, success was a bit of an understatement. All 154 units of the approximately $45,000 Brabus were snapped up in under two minutes, spawning a follow-up model, the 1300R Edition 23, earlier this year, which also had a sellout run. So it's no wonder we're seeing a third version of the bike, the Brabus 1300R Masterpiece Edition, also derived from the KTM 1290 Super Duke R Evo. Brabus says this 1300R edition will be the last of the series, and will also be the most limited. In this case just 50 units will be produced. Like its two predecessors, the Masterpiece Edition builds on the same platform, and is powered by the 1290 Super Duke R Evos 1. Three hundred and one cubic centimeters V-twin set in a matte black steel trellis frame and suspended by WP Apex semi-active suspension, with cornering ABS, traction control, and a host of other electronic rider aids. Other carryover bits on the Masterpiece Edition include the 17-inch Brabus Monoblock Z forged wheels, though here the nine-spoke design is accented with a new gold platinum finish. Brembo brake components, heated grips and adjustable brake clutch levers and footbags are all back as well. The dual slip-on Brabus exhaust also looks like a rerun, though it gains a different body color and new gold accents with the model name laser etched on the rear mufflers.